Hello and welcome to a vlog. Um, haven't done one of these in a while, so hello. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so I haven't uploaded a video in a week. I've got a good excuse, and that is college work. Uh, we had an assignment due in, and it was a pretty big one and stuff. Uh, but that was due in on Tuesday. Tuesday is gone. Why have I still not uploaded? Because games, games have come out. Um, that is my main excuse for the. the since Tuesday part anyway, because um, I mean Call of Duty came out on last Friday, so that's been out a week already, really fun, love it, um, and then Fallout came out on Tuesday, so I've been playing that as well, so I suppose I probably could have done a video, but I've just been so tired from college and stuff that I've, bleh. It's just been a hassle. So that is why I haven't really uploaded. Um, I do apologise. I will hopefully be getting a hubris or something else up tomorrow. Um, we will see how that goes. Um, internet's been a bit janky lately, so hopefully it will be fine. But yeah, so other stuff that's been going on. Uh, that would be I can now wear contact lenses. Um, I've been past I can do contact lenses and stuff I wear them to college and stuff I'm not wearing them in this video because I've had them on all day and my eyes really needed a rest um, and they're actually quite sore because they are really tired so tomorrow's a Saturday so I am gonna be getting a lot of sleep tonight so <laughs> um, yeah so I should be caught up on sleep tomorrow um, so yeah but I got contact lenses now which is really great it's been something that I've been wanting for many years um and i can finally wear them so yay so yeah i said about call of duty um i did order the hardened edition which i have right here we have the hardened edition uh i'll just show you what i got inside of it because stuff if i can get the goddamn thing out there we go so i got the steel box thing with like both call of duty stuff and then inside I got the personalization packs, the disc, I've got advanced warfare in there at the moment, but I've got personalization packs and Nuketown and stuff. I've also got soundtracks, but I haven't redeemed that, so I should probably do that. And then the other thing that is in here, I was going to actually do this last week when I got it, but I got the game a day late due to postage not being able to fit it through our letterbox due to the fact that uh, for some stupid reason for like a package that's that size that would easily fit through a letterbox game decided to put it in a box why they did that i have no clue but whatever so yeah the other thing that i got in there also was the uh calling card things so that comes in a sweet box thing uh but we got the fire blast guy uh heat blast or whatever uh fire break that's the one uh it shows the stuff um we have nomad which again Probably can't see that. I don't know how this camera's working. And then we've got battery. And then we've got Outrider. And then Reaper. And Ruin. My favourite, which is Profit. But only due to his glitch ability. That's all I've been using. Uh, we've got Seraph. And also, we've got one that I'm actually looking forward to trying out, which is Spectre. So, I look forward to trying out his abilities and such. So, yeah, but we'll, we'll put that back in there and sort that later off camera. <laughs> so, yeah, the other thing I said, I've been playing Fallout 4. Ah, I'm not sure. Um... I mean, I love the game. It's a great game. The map seems a little bit small. I've not actually explored the whole thing, so I don't know how small it is. But I... I don't know. I was never a big, big fan of the Fallout franchise. I only started playing a few years back. Um, and I, I sort of got into New Vegas, but I wasn't into Fallout 3. I didn't like Fallout 3 all that much. Which, meh. Um, but I've never been a great Fallout fan, and I don't know why. 
there's just something about the games I don't like. But Fallout 4 is really fun. Um, anyone that hasn't checked that game out, I would highly suggest it. But, I don't know, there's just something about Fallout that I don't like. And I don't know whether it's the retroness or what the hell it is, but... Nukes! I mean, nukes! What more do you want? Nukes! Easy. So yeah, but I've been having a lot of fun with that. I've clocked uh, f probably six or seven hours of game time at this point. Um, but I haven't even really played through the story. I've played a few side quests. I've done the first few missions. I've just mainly been exploring, seeing what I could find and going from there, really. Although I do love the physics. Like, the ghouls now are just so funny. The feral ghouls, because they just run at you and then just flop on the ground. I, uh, I remember I walked into one building and the whole town was just deserted. There was no one there, nothing. I was just exploring this town and then I walked into a building and saw what I thought at the time was a person. And then it was a feral ghoul. It turns around, starts snarling at me. Then I see another one drop down behind it. And then another one come out of the building behind it. So at that point, I start backing out of the building because the one that's in front of me starts running at me. So I think, okay, right, I've got three. How hard can this be? Next thing I know, another four appear out of nowhere. Like, out of buildings and drop-off roofs. And at that point, it feels like a zombie chase. And I'm literally running for about five minutes trying to get rid of these feral ghouls. In the end, I killed about... Four of them, the rest just lost interest and buggered off, so I was happy about that. But it's moments like that that I like about those sort of games. And the physics is just so funny because I've had super mutants and feral ghouls and at the last minute I've shot them in the face and they've just gone flying past my shoulder, like just belly flopping and skidding onto the ground. And it's brilliant, I love that sort of thing. So... That is a really great thing about Fallout 4, and that is one thing I really do like about it. Um, Cogsworth, uh, yeah, sorry, Codsworth is a very funny robot. That, that poor little robot, he is so funny. But, um, yeah, the game is really good, and I would say to anyone who hasn't checked it out, definitely check it out. But at this point, I think probably everyone has checked it out, so... Um, but I don't know, I might do gameplay on that, I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section down below, or whatever, um, if you don't, oh well, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, um, that's Fallout, but apart from that, um, I mean, this is an update video, really, so, uh, hopefully I'll get a bit more into a three-day swing again of uploading, or at least three days, anyway, because, I mean, I need to, uh, I have been slacking a bit, which I do apologise for, but uh, I've got an idea of what I want to do for a couple of games coming up. Um, so, Software Inc. has just had an update. Uh, that's now in the Alpha 6 release, I believe, so we've got the new build system and everything, so I'll probably have to restart that. Um, but I can show that off, probably do a few videos on it, I won't do too, too many, because yeah, there's not a great amount to do. But, um, yeah, so I might do that on Software Inc. Um, the other thing... Oh, yeah, the other thing was um, Space Engineers. This has just had a huge update. Um, it's added planets into the game, which... Mm, it, I don't know. I wish they'd do it so it was procedural, like, completely procedural. But uh, I might show that off. I'm not sure yet. I might try doing a couple of Space Engineer videos. Don't know yet. But Hubris and uh, Horizons will continue, like usual. Um, I've got an idea for a couple of other games I want to do that take over f uh, like where Life is Strangest spot was. Um, which will probably be fun for me. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Uh, one of them is my favourite game, so I might do that. I might not. Um, but we will see. We will definitely see. But yeah, there's another game that's sort of like Space Engineers that I sort of want to get and play. Uh, that is called Imperion Galactic Survival. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's sort of Space Engineering, but crappier graphics. Probably a bit less in it at the moment because it's still in very early stages. Um, there's also another game that I wouldn't mind playing that's a bit RPG, a bit Space Engineering, but more Minecrafty style 
stuff, but that's in very early access, so um, I'm not sure that I should really check that out at the moment. Uh, apart from that, I'm not really sure. But you guys, let me know uh, what you think, what you want to see, and that would help me out a bit. Um, as I say, I have had college and I have been absolutely knackered from it, so I do really apologise for that. But being knackered just means that I really don't want to do videos by the time I get home at about 6 o'clock at night. Um, which is annoying, but I've been absolutely exhausted lately, so apologies for that. But anyway, that's college for you. That's what you get when you go to college five days a week and stuff. Yeah. But, mm. This year is a lot harder than I expected it to be, so I hate to think what next year is going to be like. But yeah, guys, so apart from that, I don't think there's a great amount more that I can really touch on. So I'm going to end the video here. It's been going on for a little while anyway. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. That would be great. And anything else? I don't think so. As I say, new video tomorrow, hopefully something anyway. But yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed. I've been Pokepill, and I will see you guys next time. So until then, bye!